Jesus Christ has done for her. Yeah, hey, bless you, everybody. Thank you for coming out. I am honestly, my journey began through some serious adversity. A lot of people, when they see all of us on social media, they just see all the good stuff. They see all the smiles. They see all of us up here. They see all the pictures, but they don't really know what brought us to that moment. And that moment came for me when my daughter backslid, completely walked away from the Lord. And then to add insult to injury, then we got hit. My mom got diagnosed with stage four cancer. As you can imagine, I was distraught. So my daughter's been out of the country all this time. And the Lord began to put on me as I was falling to pieces. The Lord was like, people can benefit from your pain. People can benefit from your pain. My pain is not my own. God wanted to use me. And so I didn't enter it lightly. I had to seek counsel through my bishop. I had to seek counsel through another minister. I feel like God's calling me into ministry and it was confirmed. I've been doing ministry now for about a year and a half, and now I'm going through. God opened the door through my ministry license pass now to be fully licensed. What was interesting, though, was at a time when I felt alone, and I say all that to say this. There was a season when I was truly alone. I had nobody. My daughter's out in Germany, where she still resides. My mom passed away in December. My father's gone. I'm pretty much flying solo. At least that's what the enemy wants me to think. That's what the enemy wants me to think. And then the Lord began to move me into ministry and introducing me to people, opening doors that I had no idea because I'm not a rapper <laughs> and I'm not a musician. But the Lord said, no, I want you over here. And I began to feel him and then God began to introduce me to people. I first had the blessing of meeting Queen Jean. Um, and then over the time, I met other believers. I met Revelation. And then um, recently, I got to be blessed to meet Elf. And let me tell you what's interesting about that. Is how God has been using Queen and her son to show me that your day is coming. Your daughter will return. Your daughter will come back. But in the meantime, when I don't feel like ministering, I feel like really sorry for myself. God's saying it's not about you. You got to go serve him. I got to go serve him. I still got to get out and minister the word of God. The word of God. And then just got to be faithful and let him know. So I say all of this to you that no matter what you're going through, don't fall for the lie of the devil. You are not alone. God will begin to bring other believers around you that are your family in Christ. And the bond is even stronger. Why is that? Because we're bonded by the blood of Christ. She has become one of my best, best friends. I am so close to her. I feel like I've known him forever and he's been so encouraging me to me. His mom has been encouraging to me. All the different people that God has been using to minister and pray with me. And God will open those doors to bring the right people into your life. But in that season when you feel alone, that's because God's trying to mold you and shape you. And he wants you to draw closer to him. Be in the word and pray. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't say nobody loves me because that's not true. The Lord loves you. That's why Jesus died for you. Yeah. That's why he died for you, so you are not alone. But if God's pulling you into ministry, it usually starts through adversity, and I mean great adversity. And you're going to be walking that alone for a while. Amen. But understand, you're alone from people, but the Lord's right there with you. Everywhere you go, the Lord's right there with you. And then when you least expect it, he's going to start surrounding you with all the right people for the call that he has for your life. So then she invited me to, to sing with her. I'm interesting that her song is Spiritual Warfare, the first song that I learned of hers, because that has been my life. The Lord's showing me that this is a spiritual attack and a battle, and God wants to use me. I used to be afraid to minister. Lord, every time I minister, something happens. But that's where the enemy wants me. He wants to keep me quiet. And the Lord said, you can't be quiet. You got to keep going because trials and troubles, they don't always last. They don't always last. And now I'm entering a side of breakthrough. I've entered my breakthrough. I praise God. Doesn't mean I still don't go through things I do, but I have the assurance of Christ that I know one day I will see my mom, I will see my father. I know God's going to bring my daughter home and we'll be serving God together once again. So um, thank you all for your love and making me feel welcome. Thank you, Revelation. You know I love you, bro. God is so good. Yeah, most of all, praise God. That's right.